The next Google feature we're going to go through is the Knowledge Graph and Actions. The Knowledge Graph uh, is the area that shows up on the right-hand side in search results. Uh, in the example here, you can see it's Starbucks. Um, and you can customize or, or kind of manage the brand in this Knowledge Graph using structured data. Uh, you can specify the logo, the corporate contacts, as well as the social profiles. Um, with the contact numbers, you can not only call out you know, your one phone number, uh, but you can specify very specific numbers like billing support or credit card support, uh, baggage tracking, uh, package tracking, etc. This allows you also to call out if the, the phone number is toll free, uh, available for hearing impaired, or serves a specific country or countries. Um, and then for social profiles, they're very thorough, everything from Facebook to SoundCloud uh, to Tumblr. Um, and you can and specify those. Now you may ask, you know, I don't see this for my company, even though I've submitted all this information. And so we always like to say you can contribute to the creation of the knowledge graph. Um, although we're seeing Google mostly reward larger companies with higher traffic, um, a knowledge graph on the right hand side of search results. Another feature that's new um, and that, that we love because it, it really kind of empowers the webmaster to control local business information on the website. Um, and so in, in this feature, you call out your address, your open times, as well as whether the user can order or reserve now. Um, so think of a lot of the information that you have previously managed on Google My Business. Now you can also manage that directly on the website. Um, it also has um, certain fields that allow you to manage multiple branches. Um, and, and so if there's multi locations, it's also easy to use there. Um, this, this feature is currently in limited release um, and we're hoping that they open it up to the public really, really soon um, because the result is a knowledge panel similar to the one we saw for the Starbucks Corporation in the previous example on the right hand side um, of the search results. So really powerful way to manage your brand as well as get more of that uh, real estate in search results. With schema.org, there's also the ability to manage um, how your search results appear. Uh, and what do I mean by this? Uh, you can see in the first example on the top right uh, under Tim mentioned that there's a breadcrumb underneath uh, specifically calling out that this is from you know arts, books, um, and then books on poetry. Um, and so creating these breadcrumbs to show in search results um, is also a feature enabled by structured data. Um, the site link box is another um, example. So below the example on Pinterest where you can search the Pinterest.com directly from search results. Um, no, this one doesn't appear consistently. Google's called out that they only show this when they believe it's appropriate to the user. Um, and then finally, you can specify your company's preferred name. Um, even um, on Google right now, I'm not seeing that this shows up for their results, uh, but it's a feature that they call out uh, is enabled by structured data. Um, some other features, so answer boxes, uh, we're seeing this more and more consistently where um, Google's trying to answer your question directly in the search results. Um, here you can see I asked, how old is Mark Van Burkle, my co-founder, and uh, it pulled it up here. Uh, now, while structured data on the website contributes to this, um, there's other elements that, that pulls together to help Google um, create these answers. So it's, it's no guarantee, um, but by adding structured data to your website, you can contribute to Google putting together answers for answer boxes. Um, you also use structured data to customize the snippets people see when your page is shared on Google+. Uh, so the name, image, and description um, is it going to be pulled from schema.org type uh, if it is available on that page? Um, and if it's not available, uh, it'll do its best to guess uh, what the appropriate thing is to share. Um, and finally, promote critic reviews. So um, Google's doing its best to aggregate reviews um, across top reviewers and, and pull that into search results. You can see sort of the, the phone example on the right here. Um, and so identifying those reviews on pages uh, using structured data or what we'll call aggregate re reviews, uh, which you'll learn more in a subsequent lesson. 
Um, there's also actions, and, and so you may have seen these most familiar um, in your inbox, but there's also actions that are now happening in search. Uh, one is sort of prompting people to go to a app on their phone uh, when they're reading something. So, uh, you know, click here to go or open the app um, to get more interaction in the app, and they so that's tied to app deep linking um, as well. Um, and then they've also moved listening to music and videos also directly into what they call the knowledge panel. And so if people are uh, looking here in Bruno Mars Unorthodox, um, instead of just showing information about the song, uh, it'll also provide you the opportunity to listen to it directly out of those search results. Um, there's a theme you can see in sort of removing or um, decreasing the amount of clicks to get users uh, to the search content or the thing that they're looking for. Um, so in this example, you're seeing it in music, um, but in the next example with email, you're seeing it also in um, taking action depending on a message that you've gotten. Um, and so email actions are in uh, Inbox by Google, and there's, there's really sort of two major types. So one is highlighting important information in the inbox, and so this could be um, reservations for a flight, a rental car, a hotel, or an event that you've purchased tickets for. Um, or a parcel that you've, um, a purchase that you've made in an order, uh, and a parcel that's going to be delivered. And then the second major area is around user engagement by giving them the opportunity to interact in email. Um, so things like add it to your queue, accept friendship, um, RSVP to an event, provide a review, uh, check in for your flight, um, or maybe go to a discussion. Uh, these are, again, sort of encouraging users to engage with you um, and sort of take action, um, now enabled through structured data um, in email. Again, restricted only to, um, to Google Mail, Gmail, or Inbox by, by Gmail, um, but a really powerful way to increase engagement for clients who are using email um, as part of their uh, customer experience. The final one I did mention here is also they're going to showcase articles with images. Um, and you can see in the bottom the examples with um, Barack Obama, um, but it's sort of highlighting directly in um, in your email sort of those articles, and but making them more appealing for that user. So that's the overview of um, knowledge graph as well as um, email actions uh, from Google.